Hey guys, Jared back again. So I got a neat little application for you. It's actually a Windows 8 style taskbar for your Android device. Now I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, why would you want to put Windows 8 on your Android? Well, it's, everybody's different and it's Android. That's the whole point. It's cool. You can do anything you want. Uh, that said, can you locate the actual application launch icon? Not just the application icon, but the launch icon. Mm -hmm. It's right there. <laughs> Go ahead and click on it and bam, check a look, uh, take a look at that. Uh, so you've got all of your applications in the left-hand pane there. And of course, you've got some options for settings uh, in the right-hand pane. And of course, it attaches itself to your, Go uh, to your Google account. You'll also notice it's got a little uh, brightness slider down here at the bottom. Uh, you can alternatively click on auto. Uh, we've got a little search box there. So you can search, well, you know, what do you want? Um, as well as settings. No, that's not actually the... Um, uh, system settings, that's the application settings itself. You also notice down here along the taskbar on the bottom here, we've got some different applications open. That's because they actually stay open so you can actually start switching between them if I can, there we go, check that out. And we can, that's my wife by the way, if you guys are wondering who that hot chick is, uh, you know, Chrome and so on. So um, really cool application. You can also press and uh, you know, drag it to wherever you want and it'll snap over to where it needs to be. Of course, you can't just have it in the middle. It'll snap over to something else. Um, so you can put it anywhere you want. I actually like to have it down there at the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, alternatively, in the settings, which I'll go through in just a moment here, um, you can actually move this whole thing from the top left, top right, bottom right, and of course, like I have it right now, uh, bottom left, which is pretty sweet. Um, you also have this little um, sort of Android skull and crossbones there. And if we were to click on that, it, uh, as you can see, 29 apps killed. Now, this is the thing. This is the thing. I don't know what it's doing there, per se, because if I was to click on the recent tasks, you can see they're all still there. So I'm not really sure what that's killing. Um, I don't know. Maybe leave me a comment. Uh, or leave, a, leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know what you think it's actually killing, because it obviously killed something, just not everything. Uh, regardless, let's go ahead and uh, launch the application and jump into the settings menu here. Um, so you have the toggle on off switch, as you can see, this is actually the free version. I'll be posting a link in the description below, as always, to the free version. And if you like it, you can go ahead and check out the premium upgrade. Uh, the reason why you might want to get the premium upgrade is because if we were to click on UI here, and let's say, for instance, I wanted to click on notification icon, um, or sorry, not notification icon, if I wanted to click on... <laughs> this is a uh, fail. Um, if I wanted to select the different start button icon. Uh, now, as you can see, that, that one right there is the default one. But if I was to click on something different, uh, it asks me to purchase the uh, upgraded premium version there. Um, so that said, so yeah, back in the start menu here, we can uh, edit the start menu layout, right? Uh, we can edit the start menu items, all of your applications, reorganize them as you see fit. Um, we can also change the start button dimming level. So I have mine at 90% because I like to see where it is at all times, right down to 20%. So it's very, very transparent. Uh, but then I know myself and I'll end up losing track of where the heck it is. Uh, start button above status bar and of course adjust to soft keyboard. Um, we can go ahead and jump into UI and we've got the taskbar theme. So if you want to go to classic or black, you're going to have to fork out that premium price. Uh, taskbar position, like I said before, left bottom, left top, right bottom and right top. Uh, notification icon, I've already uh, discussed that with you and show persistent notification up there in the uh, um, notification um, status bar there. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, it's a really cool application, I think, and I would definitely recommend you guys check it out. I think it's really useful. Um, I like the layout of it. I like the colors of it. And of course, if you like it as much as I do, um, and you plan on using something like this for a long period of time, you might want to consider purchasing the premium version. Like I said before, guys, I'll be posting a link to this in the description below. It's free, so go and check it out. Try it out. You might really enjoy it, just like I am. Um, but that's it for now, though, guys. If you like this video, uh, don't be afraid to click that likes button down below. It always always uh, helps out the channel big time and shows me some appreciation. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this one in the future. And you can always stay up to date on all things The Smoking Android by following me on the social networky thingies like Twitter and Google+. Plus. Those links are in the description below as well. That's it for now though, guys. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.